Welcome back, everybody. Well, last time we said goodbye to our good friend Galath before he returned to his world to deal with XF, and now we've decided to go with him. It's Wolf the Fallen, and if you remember, Sid said he was going to return the Adamantite to the place where we found it. And the place where we found it was the Tycoon Meteor. The meteor where we found Galath riding in. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this. Ah, uh, uh, hello. There's the black chocobo. So we'll head in and check things out. Hey guys. I don't know why they're so shocked. It seems like, oh my god, Sid! We were totally expecting you to be here. What do you mean it's dangerous? We've been doing like dangerous things since the start of the game. Alright, well, I'll wait here. Oh my god. What the hell's going on? Hmm. Yeah. See, it's not actually a, a transporter vehicle, it, it's a microwave. Everybody knows when you put adamantite in a microwave, it creates an instantaneous transporter. Interdimensional planetary transporter. Alright, so there's our plan. We're going to take little pieces of the adamantite to each of the meteors. And that way we can hopefully head to the other world. Now you you have to go to this meteor first, but you can pretty much go to any meteor you want from here. But uh, I'm going to do it in the order I normally do it, because it's just a little easier of an order to do it. And it's sort of like a boss gauntlet. You're going to be facing off with three bosses all in a row. And they're all really, really tough for this point of the game. I think I went a little too high. No, I didn't go high enough. Meteor is across from Tull, I think. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Let's head into this meteor. Talk to Sid. Come on, guys. Probably just a cockroach. Let me just go step on it. God, you guys are afraid of your own shadow. Anyways, how can a monster be so bad that you gotta be scared of- oh my god, it's a monster that shakes the earth. Oh my god, it's Titan. This is a perfect example of using Image, as he only does physical attacks. Also, go to Dragon Mountain and get yourself a Gala cat, one of those flying cats as you just saw. Uh, catch him. The best way to catch him is to use a Time Mage to and use Demi on him, and that will pretty much lower his HP to halfway. Like, just keep using on it, because otherwise you'll kill him in one hit, because they're so weak at this point in the game. So the reason why you want to cast Float is because this guy has a nasty little finisher move, and is the first enemy that uses the finisher move. There it is. That was quite a bit of damage. 400 bites of damage to all your party members. That really hurt. And that's why you want critical on. Uh, holy crap. Melina's dead. Yeah. That really hurt. Imagine if you're really under leveled and you go in there without float and we obtain the Esper item. You will get your ass handed to you. You will win the battle, but you will die right at the end. And you know how annoying that is? That is extremely annoying. There's nothing worse than knowing you won only to die. I think Titan is the first enemy to use uh, a death attack, like use an attack after they die. Alright, let's get her back on her feet, get everyone back up to full HP and we'll head to the next meteor. So that's why you want to have flare or float there, it's real handy, it really works. And the next boss is going to be just as annoying. And he is right here by the Whale's Meteor. Oh, hi. I forgot about you. Alright, how's it going, guys? What do you say? Uh, nothing new. What are you guys up to? Alright, well, wait out here. Call me if you got a cockroach you need killing again. Oh, my God. Alright. 
time to see some action. These guys are a real pain in the ass. And we're gonna watch what we're gonna see what happens when you throw money at these guys. Guildhoss will throw Gil at all the enemies. Bam. And here is their finisher move. When they die, they will cast Life 2 on any fallen comrades, re-raising them. And how is this annoying? Because if you have one left, it will cast Life 2 when it dies, and it will re-raise the other five, making it hard to kill the enemy. Thank you guys. And I had about 10,000, yeah, holy cow. I think I had, uh, I had a bit, I don't remember how much it lost. I think it purely depends on the level you are and your enemy is, I don't remember. The gill toss uses up a lot of gill and it's it's good end game uh, attack when you don't need your gill as much. I don't want to walk that extra space. Thank you. It is a good attack and causes a lot of damage. So if you don't mind wasting some gill, it's a good, really good attack. Alright, you guys go have fun. We'll be here again. Don't go get an intercobble. What the hell are they? Yeah, a little bit too long. Anyway, let's go check on them. Yeah, no, Gil Toss is really good, but uh, uses up a big chunk of money. So they, here they are, dancing, having a party, and being attacked by one of the hardest bosses you will face. I did not switch my job abilities like I should have. Anyways, he has Blaze and Aqua Rank, but both will take uh, about over two th uh, 200 points of damage. Not only that, Blaze will cause Caesar, and he's dead. That's the power of Guild Toss, people. Caesar will cost um, an HP loss. So there we go. We've got everything. All right, let's go, everybody. So that is the final meteor. So with all meteors going at it. We'll see where they converge, and they converge right in the middle, just south of Tool, west of the Pirate Hideout. So that is our next destination. We shall go there. We shall be careful. You too, guys. Alright, so this point... That was a waste of my time. This point... You might want to go to Lex, which is north, the most northern town right here. Pick yourself up some ethers, because they're really cheap here. You got the gill. Also, you might want to take a little, little stop off at Tycoon Castle. We'll just check in and say goodbye before we leave for this new world. What are you up to, Chancellor? Yeah, we'll stay the night. Yep, Ferris just sleeps with her mouth open. It's oh. probably a really heavy snore. Yeah, so Ferris I think is about 21. Yeah, because Bart's is 21 as well. Lena is 20. What's going on? But you don't want to fly the dragon? But he's cute! Yeah, come on. It'll be a fun, fun little thing. These are optional images you'll get. You won't get these unless you return to Tycoon Castle. So I guess their mom, uh, mom got sick. Is what happened? Oh, oh! Now you want to go, you little brat?
Anyways. There we go. That's just a little extra cutscene. I think, uh, I think that's about all we have to do. Out of my way, old man. No, I said out of my way. I don't think the Chancellor will say anything different. Come on, guys! We're going on a grand adventure to a new world. Why don't you sit in the throne? I won't mind. Well, maybe I'll sit in the throne. Oh, this life is good. Okay, it says the same thing. All right, let's uh, let's head to the Force Point area of parallelness. They don't really say or anything, but I, I'm guessing the world is Gallus' world is opposite of our their world. Of Bart's world. So like say you have Earth and then there's a second Earth on the other side. It's on the same rotation as Earth but it's on the other side and the two go the same speed and never catch up to each other. Where am I going? I am going over here right below. There it is. Huh. That looks like a bird or a dragon or something. Yeah so much like Final Fantasy 1 we get a you know, after collecting all the crystals, we get a destination to the Chaos Temple. Well, this sort of the same idea. So let's uh, go over some of these abilities here we got. Guard, yeah, it pretty much reduces physical attacks to zero. Giltos, like I was telling you before, excellent ability, but really will cost you. Make sure you have deep pockets. Sword Slap, first ability by the Samurai, that is an excellent ability. That will stun enemies. Uh, magic sword, do you know? Cover will cover me to death. Huh? Double grip. Double grip is excellent for the samurai because what this does is this will equip it, like I've said, it will equip uh, one sword with two hands doing double the damage. And why is this good for the samurai? Well, because this is good because samurai has a sword grab ability, support ability, that pretty much acts like a, a shield. It will deflect an enemy's attack, causing zero damage. So that's a good reason to have it. Now, if you want the double, I don't think it, I don't think if you put a shield on it doubles it or anything, because I think the sword grab is based on the shield one as well. Uh, barrier puts up a uh, one way to one way magic barrier. Berserk instant berserk status. Now, this really isn't useful in any way, and this is also the only ability I believe that does not transfer to your bear job when you master the berserk class. Because that, otherwise, that would be really stupid. Because if you did that, all your berserk, all your characters would become berserk. Tame stops enemies. Hide. You'll hide from battle, taking no damage, but you can't really do anything. Control. Excellent way to get blue magic. Like I said before, it controls an enemy and you cast the blue magic. There's a few blue magics that you have to do that. Mostly the healing and the support type. Uh, equip heart. Now these are heart. These are really annoying or stupid because uh, when you use these support abilities, all it will do is allow a class that can't normally equip a heart to equip a heart. And there's a few of these, and you won't really ever need them. So that's all it is. Like if I equip this now, the mediator will be able to equip a heart, but I wouldn't want that. Medicine, really good one. Doubles the effects of potions and ethers. Uh, this is a good idea if you if you're out and about and you need a good refill in your magic points, just put this on and have that character refill the person that needs the magics to get double the effectiveness of your ether. And Ferris. Build up, good for counterattacks. If there's an enemy that counterattacks you, every time you hit it, you want to use build up to maximize your attack. While minimizing your damage. Escape and smoke, same thing, they just run from battle. Flirt confuses the enemy. Image, as you saw, doubles the image so it nullifies physical attacks, steals, steals items from enemy. Mantra. Mantra will cure poisons, darkness, as well as restore some HP. Not a lot, but fairly effective. Um, preemptive strike, which pretty much means you'll always attack first. Now passage and dash, like I've said before, you'll see passage be able to run in towns and dungeons and stuff like that. So, let us head to the next world. Well, well, one shot. Let's take it, boys. Uh, well, ladies. Let's go down the swirling vortex of doom. 
I mean, the nice vortex of doom. You know what I mean. Let's just go to hell. Let's just go to the other planet. Have fun, Bogo. Hiya! So, we're gonna head to the Gallus world. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.